بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل سائنس فار ایوری ون ہوپ یو آل آر ڈوئنگ ویل ٹوڈے دا ویڈیو ریلیٹڈ ٹو مسنجر آر این اے سیکوینسنگ ڈیٹا انالیسز ان وچ آئی ول ڈسکس دا ورک فلو اینڈ دا بیسنگ کنسیپٹ ڈیٹا ریلیٹڈ ٹو سیکوینسنگ ٹیکنالوجی ایز یو آل نو دیٹ آئی ہیو اسٹارٹڈ اے ویڈیو سیریز ریلیٹڈ ٹو مسنجر آر این اے سیکوینسنگ ڈیٹا انالیسز سو ان دس ویڈیو سیریز آئی ول ڈسکس ڈسکس ایچ اینڈ ایوری پوائنٹ ریلیٹڈ ٹو دس انالیسز بٹ بیفور اسٹارٹنگ ڈیٹا انالیسز you all need to know that what basically is sequencing technology and how uh, the files that are uh, that are used for analysis are generated so how sequencing files are generated we should know about it because uh, when we are dealing with the sequencing files so you should know about that how these files are generated so experimental design or experimental workflow you should know about it after that what and how what is sequencing technology how it is performed uh, how it is proceeded so you should know about the sequencing technology after that understanding the sequencing files after when the sequencing files are generated so you should understand that how what are basically these sequencing files and what what is the structure of the sequencing files and at the last sequencing data analysis that is our priority so basically i am planning that i will uh, i will just uh, compose two videos related to experimental design and experimental workflow and sequencing technology after that i will start with the data analysis so these two videos the part 2 and part 3 will be about these experimental design and these such type of theoretical stuff and i'm uh, I rec i'm recommending you to watch these videos so that you should know about that how when you are analyzing your data so you should know about that what type of data i am analyzing okay so let's start with the very basics that uh, in this video uh, we i will discuss the central dogma i think you all know about that what is basically central dogma rna sequencing workflow experimental phase extraction and messenger rna enrichment and library preparation so in the last of this video you will know about these such type of concepts okay now some old school concept the central dogma you all know about it and what is basically central dogma Uh, we are having uh, a dna and the dna consists of genes that uh, encode for specific proteins so the genes are transcribed and uh, messenger, uh, messenger rna is uh, formed after that it is uh, modified and it is processed and then it, it is exported out of the nucleus and uh, after the translation is being performed and proteins are being formed so in this uh, series we are discussing about the messenger rna sequencing technology so we will deal with the messenger rna that when it is uh, messenger rna is formed so we will extract it and we will analyze it okay and we all know about the basic theory that one gene one protein so messenger rna is basically a protein okay so indirectly or we can say directly it is a protein and you are you, you are seeing in this uh, this uh, picture okay so this is basically the central dogma uh, uh, this is a bit uh, descriptive form we are having our dna after that rna is formed then rna is pre processed and messenger rna is formed and after that uh, proteins are being formed so protein a b c are formed from the uh, messenger rna so as i was saying that one gene one protein or a single messenger rna can encode for a single protein okay so basically we are analyzing the messenger rna so just keep this thing in mind so this this messenger rna we will be processing these such type of files okay so after that now it is the entire workflow we are having all sample of interest uh, what we do is uh, we extract the messenger rna and we enrich the messenger rna because we are having uh, ribosomal rna transfer rna micro rnas so we should uh, we should get our messenger rna from that sample so how it is being done i will uh, tell you in a minute okay after that uh, library preparation or we can also say complementary dna library uh, the messenger rna is being converted into dna and after that that is for sequencing uh, is being performed and after that the files are generated and the the the, the uh, green color box uh, basically this is our priority this is our data analysis okay so but we should know about it what is happening before the data analysis so experimental phase is basically the sample of interest and up to sequencing it is basically the, sequ the, the experimental phase uh, most of the uh, students just uh, extract the dna and after that they send it to the lab and uh, they just perform sequencing and the files are being given to that students and they analyze that files okay but you should know that what basically is being performed uh, with the D with the messenger rna that, that is being extracted from the dna uh, from the cell okay so the first sample of interest experimental design so uh, it depends upon you that what type of messenger rna are you going to explore so cancer cell we are having cancer cells and normal cells uh, it, it depends upon you if you are working on cancer cell and you are, you want to look to the expression of the cancer cells that what type of genes are being uh, expressed in the cancer cell so then you can you will extract the uh, ribo, uh, the the messenger rna of the cancer cell and then you will be uh, you will proceed with your experimental design and if you are uh, you are just checking that what type of uh, uh, expression is being performed in the normal cells of the heart or of the liver or of the uh, of the spleen or pancreas brain cells neurons so then you can also look into it okay so uh, it depends upon your sample of interest okay now extraction and enrichment extraction means that when you just uh, extract the messenger rna from the cell okay so extract total rna from your sample total rna means that when you are extracting the rna 
So it will consist of ribosomal RNA, transfer RNA, messenger RNA, micro RNAs, and different other type of RNAs. But you are interested with the messenger RNA. Okay. So first of all, you will extract all of the RNA. Then you will just purify your messenger RNA. So there are different techniques in the purification of messenger RNA. So in the case of eukaryotic cells, uh, we all know that when the uh, eukaryotic cells, the after the transcription process, when the messenger RNA is being uh, transported into the cytoplasm for translation so two type of mechanism is being performed in order to protect the messenger rna so it is a five five uh it is being kept by five prime and five prime cap and poly atl so the two ends are being protected by these two type of leads okay so basically in eukaryotes poly atl is very much important so we just use the poly atl mechanism and just ex extract the messenger rna by using complementary sequences of poly -A. just look into the magnetic bead uh we are having magnetic beads that have uh timing and we all know that uh, the poly ATL is basically the adenine and it is complementary to the time, timing. So when we are passing the total RNA uh, uh, across the vessel, so the magnetic bead have the timing, complementary timing. So the, our poly ATL just gets stick into the, 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 the timing and the other RNA is being expelled and our messenger RNA is being captured by the magnetic bead. And after that, we just extract that messenger RNA. So in, it is in case of the eukaryotes, okay? So you should know about it, that uh, how it is being, uh, it is basically known as enrichment, okay? Messenger RNA enrichment. Why I, either in the case of prokaryotes, we are also dealing with prokaryotes that uh, what type of uh, expression is being uh, performed inside bacteria, for example, E. coli or pseudomonas. If you are having a bacteria and you need to know that what type of gene expression is happening inside that bacteria. So just you just you just need to extract the messenger RNA. But we know that poly ATL does not exist in the prokaryotes. So what, what, what does we do that uh, uh, only 5% five, five, five of the total RNA is messenger RNA. You need to know this about it, okay? So what does we do? We, we capture the ribosomal RNA. So after that, when we capture the ribosomal RNA, so after that, messenger RNA is just uh, uh, left behind. So we can say that this is our messenger RNA. Or we can just degrade the, 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 the ribosomal RNA. We are having enzymes that are specific for the degradation of the ribosomal RNA. So we just degrade the ribosomal RNA and we are left behind with the messenger RNA. So this, this, are, this is in case of prokaryotes, okay? But the degradation of processed RNA or the ribosomal RNA is much more uh, efficient in in capturing, in dealing with the, in the purification of the messenger RNA, okay? So you you should, you, you need to know about these concepts, okay? So this was all about the enrichment and the purification. Now you are having the purified messenger RNA. So what is next? Next is the library preparation, okay? Library preparation uh, consists of fragmentation and repair and airtailing, ligation and PCR amplification, okay? So uh, before uh, sequencing, uh, your ribosomal, uh, your messenger RNA should be converted into complementary DNA. And after that, complementary DNA is being is used as a reference to just construct uh, a new sequencing RNA, a new sequencing strains against it. Okay. So first of all, you should perform fragmentation. Before fragmentation, basically the the messenger RNA is being converted into uh, complementary DNA. Okay. So you all know about it how it is being converted. It is basically converted with the help of reverse transcriptase. Okay. So reverse transcriptase enzymes are used in the ribosomal RNA. Sorry, the messenger RNA is converted into complementary DNA. Okay. So after that, in repair and attailing. I want to just show you the end repair. For example, we are having uh, st uh, two strands of complementary DNA. And basically, these strands are just uh, not aligned with each other. These are aligned, but the ends are not aligned, okay? Uh, basically, these are the overhang ends. So, for example, in case of the GT, uh, uh, A and C is being formed against the GT. So, in order to just make the ends blunt ends, okay? So, basically, this is the end repair, okay? You should know about it. And uh, same is the case with the other end. AGT is there and uh, we, 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 will, we will just make complementary thymine, cytosine, and adenine against it, okay? So, this is basically the end repair. And after that, air telling. Now, we are having the end repair. So, we are having blunt ends. So, after that, when we just uh, perform these uh, such type of uh, steps. So, now we are having the blunt ends. Uh, there is a specific type of concept that is known as adapters. Okay, these are basically adapters. I will I will uh, discuss the detail of adapters in the next video. That what are basically adapters and why we are using it. But in um, this adapters are used to uh, used in the sequencing technology in order to uh, efficiently uh, synthesize. Uh, new strands against the old strands, okay? So be, uh, uh, if there are no adapters, so sequencing will not be performed, okay? So I'm not getting into the detail of the adapters. In the next video, I will discuss about the adapters. But here you should know about it, that adapters are obligatory for the sequencing technology. Okay, so now we're having the blunt ends. So for, in order to just bind the adapters to the, uh, uh, to, to the uh, DNA, to the complementary DNA, you should have some, some complementary strands, okay? So in order to just uh, bind the adapter here, so we will, we will just, uh, we, we will just add adenine here, okay? And adenine here. So basically this is known as adenylation. So this is just because the adapter have a timing and, and after that the adapter is just bind to it, okay? 
So this is basically the concept. So this is why we are we are just adding adenine to the ends of the complementary DNA, and after that the adapters are being bind to it. Okay, and after that when this is now our ligation, ligation is basically the 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 the, the binding of adapters to the complementary DNA. So after that we perform PCR amplification in order to just increase the number of messenger RNA. Okay, basically what are basically these are the messenger RNA, but it is converted into complementary DNA. Okay, so basically this is the messenger RNA, and we are we are just increasing its number. Okay, but we are increasing it uh, parallelly. Okay, because if we are increasing one sample, for example, we are having two samples. Okay, so if we are increasing this samples messenger RNA, so we will also increase same PCR amplification will be performed for it. If we are doing it with the 50x, so here also will be 50x. Okay, so mostly uh, uh, PCR amplification is done. But uh, sometimes it is also not required to be done. Okay, so this was all about uh, the, uh, the 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 sequencing, uh, we, uh, the workflow of the experimental design. Topic for the next part is uh, basically now the sequencing. As I have told you before, that uh, now I think you know about the experimental design and workflow. Now in the next video, I will discuss about the adapters. What what, what are basically adapters? What are end and pair ends reads and what is the sequencing technology? So in the next video, uh, we will generate our files that uh, how these are generated. And in the, the part four to, fourth of that video, see this video series, I will discuss the sequencing files. And inshallah, then we will proceed with the data analysis. Okay. So this was all about the today's video. If you understand it well, so just like it, subscribe to my channel, and, and share it with your friends. And I uh, guarantee you that uh, in the after the completion of this video series. I'm, I assured you that you will know about that, how you will analyze your messenger RNA sequencing files. Okay. So subscribe to the channel and inshallah you will, you will get important and interesting stuff related to bioinformatics and you will not regret about, about the subscription of this channel. Okay. Uh, there are other also uh, important playlists related to different skill sets, uh, micro RNA data analysis and in silico vaccine designing and different other uh, related bioinformatics related videos. So just explore this channel and you will learn a lot from this channel okay inshallah so if you're having any problem you can also just personally text me email me i will also answer you there okay so inshallah see you in the next video this was all for uh, all for today uh see you in the next video inshallah thank you very much god bless you